Welcome to Exercise at Home with Balanced Body. I'm Elizabeth Larkham, here for a 20-minute workout with you on many uh, types of bridging, varieties of bridging. First, we'll do the bridging sequences without any props, and then we'll add uh, the magic circle, the ultra-fit circle. So, moving your chimes out of the way, come to lie on your back. Place, bend your knees with the soles of your feet in contact with the floor. Heels are sitting bone width apart. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, have the idea that your pubic bone is heavy towards the mat. Send your knees away and it's a neutral bridge. While you are up, shift to one side and then shift laterally, translate to the other side. For example, you could plant the sole of your left foot, shift over towards your right shoulder, and plant the sole of your right foot and shift over towards your left scapula. Shift to the right, translate the greater trochanter to the right, and translate your left greater trochanter to the left. Come to the center, lead down with your sacrum, and land in a neutral spine. Bringing your knees a little bit more bent, the soles of your feet on the ground. As you exhale, pubic bone is heavy towards the mat, and lift your pelvis up. While you are up, rotate, turning your navel towards the right, and then rotate, turning your navel towards the left. The left ASIS carves up and around to the right, and the right ASIS carves up and over to the left. Rotate, checking to feel that your knees are aiming straight ahead, directly forward above your third toes. Come to the center and land. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, it's a neutral bridge again, lifting your pelvis up. Now, rotate to the right, slide or translate downhill to the right, scoop out and around and up. So this is a figure eight with bridging. Rotate, translate downhill to the left, scoop out and around. Rotate, translate, scoop. Figure eights. As you do these figure eights with your pelvis and your lumbar spine, check to feel that your knees are tracking directly forward over your third toes, and you are doing a fine job of integrating your lower ribs with your pelvis. So this is a figure eight with an under curve. Lower your pelvis. Now it goes with the territory that since you have a strong ground force with your feet, your torso will slowly wend its way towards the head end of the mat. So relocate, come down again, and now it's time for bridging with an over curve. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, the pubic bone is heavy. Steer your knees forward. Now, rotate, so navel aims to the left, and translate, slide uphill to the right, and make an over curve, so the left PSIS comes down. Now you've rotated to the right, translate left, up, over, and down, up, over, and down. Figure eights with an over curve are much more demanding than figure eights with an under curve because they require more hip extension, more strength of the hip extensors, your gluteals, and more glide of the, uh, the connective tissue, the layers, the, uh, the fascia at the front of your thighs. Because this range of motion is less accessible to most all of us, there's a tendency to hyperextend at the thoracolumbar junction. 
Don't do that. It's cheating. Up over and down, up over and down. Come to the center, land your pelvis. So, so far, you've had uh, bridging with lateral translation, bridging with rotation, and figure eights in both directions. Now, let's uh, make this a bit more demanding for the single leg bridge. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, the pubic bone is heavy, it's a neutral bridge. Translate to your right. Stand firmly, so to speak, on your right foot and your right shoulder blade and lift your left foot up and put it down. As you in inhale, translate your pelvis to the left, towards the left greater trochanter and lift your right leg up and put it down. Bend both elbows, fingertips towards the ceiling. Shift, anchor, and lift. Shift, anchor, and lift. Palms together, fingers interlaced. Shift your pelvis to the right. Press your right hand into your left hand and lift your left leg up. Shift your pelvis to the left. Press your left hand into your right hand and lift your right leg up. Come to the center and land. We'll continue with a more demanding sequence of single leg bridging. Arms start down. Inhale. As you exhale, send your knees away from your hip joints. Pelvis lifts. Shift to the right. Stand on the right. Lift the left foot up. Shift to the right, stand on the left, and lift your right leg up. Shift to the left, stand left, lift your right leg up. Shift to the left, stay to the left, and lift your left leg up. Now let's take the arms straight up, because we don't have all day to go through all the elbow variations. So. Palms together, fingers interlace, shift to the right, stand on the right, lift the left foot. Shift to the right, stay over to the right, good luck to you and, and me, and lift the right foot up. Woohoo! Shift to the left, stay left, lift your right foot up. Shift more to the left, stay left, and lift your left leg up. Now in all of these, let me make good on the first side where I messed up. Shift to the right, stay to the right. Press your left hand into your right hand and lift your left leg. Shift more to the right, stay to the right, which means your pelvis is to the right and you stand on your left foot. The right hand pushes into the left hand. Keep your pelvis level and steady. Hello, gluteus medius on the left side. Okay, with a little bit of extra attention, I brought that one home. Now, you will have more, um, more guidance and more um, facility. It'll be a richer experience if you use or when you add a, uh, a magic circle or an ultra fit circle to the mix. Let's show what that would be like. You put the, uh, the larger ring around the outside of your thighs above your knees. Palms together, fingers interlaced. Lift your pelvis straight up. Now pushing outwards with your thighs will activate the lateral pelvic stabilizers. We'll do the most complicated sequence. Shift to the right, stay to the right, Lift your left foot up. Shift more to the right. Stay to the right. Stand on your right shoulder blade and your left foot and lift the right leg up. Shift to the left. Stay to the left. Lift the right foot. Shift more to the left. Stay to the left. Lift your left foot up. So that's a possibility. Um, to use the ultra fit circle around the outer thighs in all the variations that I've shown. Now, uh, to use the ring on their inner thighs, um, you could use the large ring if you'd like. However, 
balanced body, innovators in the uh, mind-body movement space makes this smaller ring, which will be preferable, I think, for uh, the adductors, the deep front uh, myofascial continuity. Inhale to prepare. As you exhale, have the idea that the hip joints are approximating the midline, and that will bring your adductors and then your inner knees sorry, your inner thighs and then your inner knees towards each other. So it's a gradual, <laughs> yeah, here we go, a gradual turn on, so to speak, of the, of the deep front uh, myofascial continuity starting from proximal to distal. Coming up, now you could add rotation. And you can have the figure eights with the adductors more engaged, figure eights with an under curve, and figure eights with an over curve, as well as the double single leg bridging. This, I think, is more demanding when the ring is on the inside of the thighs. Uh, than when it is on the outside because you need to activate the lateral pelvic stabilizers and uh, the medial pelvic stabilizers. So there are some options for you with the, um, with the, without the props and with the props. Let's finish now with bridging with rotation. This is inspired by a Feldenkrais Awareness Through Movement lesson. You have options with your feet. You could interlace the soles of your toes, interlace your toes, in which case uh, you could access my 10-minute um, exercise at home pieces on articulate feet and hands and um, articulate lumbar spine. If you don't want to interlace your toes, or if it's just if there's just not time enough in the day, don't worry. Just plant the paw, the soles of your feet towards each other. Now, press your left palm into the ground with your left elbow towards the ceiling, and place your right hand on your left elbow. As you inhale, slide your left heel on top. As you exhale, lift up in a bridge and rotate to the right. Your pelvis and lumbar spine turn right. Your head, neck, and eyes turn left, as if to see underneath your left elbow. So you have an oppositional rotation, pelvis and lumbar spine in one direction, cervical spine in the other, and come down. Slide the new heel on top. Inhale, bridge. Rotate, turn away from uh, your nose. So the navel aims left and the nose aims right. Place your hand on your show, on your elbow. Inhale to rotate. Exhale to come down. And inhale, bridging with rotation and come down. Finally, press both palms into the mat. Inhale to rotate. Here you have a ground force through your left hand and a diagonal spiral through your torso towards your right foot. And then making a ground force with your right hand and there's a diagonal spiral on the left diagonal towards your left foot. Inhale, slide the left heel on top. Exhale, bridging. Cervical and lumbar spine turning in opposite directions. Inhale to slide the right heel on top. Bridging with rotation. Now, Thank you so much for joining us. There you have your bridging options. I'll look forward to seeing you next time on uh, Exercise at Home with Balanced Body. Bye now.